All right, welcome back to BSTV. We are back after a week off. This is Bianca. And I'm Steve. Hi, guys. So we are reviewing The Bachelor, season 26, Clayton season, and this is the final episode where he picks the hometown dates. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good one. They were yeah. in Vienna. Yeah. Uh, how'd you do, how'd you do on your predictions? Yeah, I got four for four. You got four for four? Yeah. You didn't pick Gabby. Yes, I did. Not Teddy. Really? Yeah. No, but earlier. Picking before people were eliminated. Yeah, I know. Yeah? yeah. Okay. I, I got three. Uh, yeah, Susie and Rachel are a given. And then there's... Yeah, Serene. they were locks. Yeah. So let's go back to the beginning of the episode. Okay. So he sends two girls home in this one. Right. So tell us about the first one. Oh my goodness, who was it? I forget. There was Sarah. Mara. Oh. No. No? No. Okay, in Havar, the, he sent home Sarah, I mean, uh, Mara and the other girl. Yeah. Eliza. Mm hmm Right. And then in the, at the date, when they go to Vienna, they're doing the psychoanalysis and he sends home Genevieve because Genevieve decided that she wasn't really feeling it either. And then Sarah. Yes. Right. That's right. So there was the double rose ceremony at the start mm -hmm. where Mara went home, who I th I think he should have gave her more of a chance in the season. Like, I think she's right. She should have just quit, though, mm -hmm. instead of fighting the losing battle staying on. Like, he never took her on any dates. And then they made her seem crazy. Yeah. Like, they gave her bad edits for the last couple of weeks where it was just her whining about not getting dates. Mm -hmm. She should have just left. Yeah. And it makes your case stronger to get on... You know, to be the Bachelorette or to get on Bachelor Pad or ba Bachelor in Paradise. Mm -hmm. Maybe she may go on to one of those. Of course, but she's now portrayed as like a crazy girl. Mm -hmm. An angry, aggressive girl. That's going to yeah, be her edit had, all the time she now. All, she had all valid points and whatnot. Mara, you'll be fine. You'll find somebody. Yeah. You have a really nice wardrobe too. Okay. Nice other stuff too. Yeah, you think she's pretty. Yes. Okay, she's not ugly, definitely. Yes. I think she is pretty. And, and I do think she's a bit bossy, but I again, that's the edit that mm -hmm. they gave her. Yeah. So it doesn't mean she is. Right. But anyways, then let's fast forward to, so that's the first rose ceremony, and then they skip ahead. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the remaining women have to go into a psychiatrist session with him or a psychologist session with him and they, and they have to, yeah. you know, discuss where they are in a relationship, how they're feeling, et cetera, which I think is not fair. And like, obviously every girl is uncomfortable. I'm dating a guy who's dating five girls mm -hmm. and it's on national TV. Right. Of course I don't feel great about myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lack of self -confidence. And then, but it ends and then the psychologist says to Clayton and all the ladies at the same time that I thought there were some genuine comments and then one person was putting on a performance. Mm -hmm. And then we don't know who he's talking about, but the edit makes us think it's Sarah. Mm -hmm. And all the other girls hate Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they didn't say who it was, but they might have told Clayton. Yeah, and Privately. and the thing with uh, Sarah is... Because he kept on saying, I don't trust you. I don't trust what you're saying. Yeah, and Sarah keep... Well, no, he says that after. Right. When he talks to her, yeah. confronts her. But Sarah's started to get the edit, where which Sinead had as the bad girl. Mm -hmm. The one who no one likes. And everyone wants her to go home. She's causing problems in the house. Yeah. I think they all do that, though. Yeah. Like, they have to choose, like, four people to do that. Because first of them, it was with Cassidy. And then... The beginning of The Bachelor, and then it was Shanae and now Sarah. Yeah. yeah. So then there's the four remaining girls on the group date. Yeah. And Clayton takes them all one at a time to ask, you know, like, tell me stuff about who do you think was performing? Who was the psycho psychiatrist talking about? But they obviously told him it was Sarah mm -hmm. because Sarah goes last. What if Sarah goes first and is like, you know what? I think it's... Uh, uh, Gabby. Well, obviously, they told him, and then yeah. that's why, right? He yeah. called all those other girls up first. Yeah, and all of them basically say, "I hate Sarah. Sarah makes me uncomfortable." And Sarah to... brags and says, "Like your dates are so good to make us envious." And you have to remember that a lot of these <clears throat> this stuff is scripted as well, right? So they made him do certain yeah. things. Right? But so then it's, it's not all natural. But then it's funny because then he takes Sarah in, and Sarah starts to like oh, whine was... and cry and complain, and then he's like. I feel like you're fake crying right now. Like you're trying hard to force tears out. 
And she's like, I don't actually have any more tears because I cried so much this week. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, he just says, I don't believe you and I'm walking you out, which I like. Yeah. Like you usually don't get that in the Bachelor yeah. Bachelorette. Usually it's just like, okay, I'm going to go investigate some more. Yeah. Like, you gave me a lot to think about. Yeah, no, good job, Clayton. Yeah. Coming, yeah, coming Clayton, Clayton, yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Really good. He, speaking of like changing, I swear – Halfway through the episode, he dyed his hair and beard. Yeah, maybe. Like, it looked like he's no longer... He's kind of, like, dirty blonde, and all of a sudden, it was, like, dark brown. Yeah, maybe. When they had him on... Too. Yeah, they, he was on a balcony. It was dark, but it was, like... Well, I didn't even think that was him at first. Yeah. I thought it was, like, a security guard for the show. Yeah. So, who are you predicting? Because now they're showing... Previous... Oh, so, wait. So, we get to the end, and there's mm -hmm. the rose ceremony. Right. And uh, I was surprised. Teddy got sent home, and he kept Gabby. Right. To go with uh, Susie, Rachel, and, and Serene. Serene. To hometown. Yeah. yeah. So that's the, your final four. Teddy's out. I actually thought he was keeping Teddy, and I thought Gabby was going home. Right. I thought, like, him and Teddy had such a strong connection early, early on. and But they didn't really build on it. I know, but I thought it was because it, sometimes the person has such a strong connection early on that they just kind of save them and are like, I know yeah, I'm taking them, and then I work through everyone else. Right. And yeah. I thought that's what was happening with her. But on screen, they didn't look like they had a strong connection. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, who are you choosing for the final two? Uh, I, I would be shocked if it's not Rachel and Susie. Yeah. Like, I don't think Gabby has any chance at all. No. And uh, Serene, she has a chance. Like, he likes her. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I guess. But I think it's the other two. Yeah. I think it's Like, usually, usually some, like, those two kind of look the same. Like, they're both blonde girls. Mm -hmm. Usually, like, he's you're going to choose between those two that look alike that's, in the finals. That's his type. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like usually there's a certain number in the final that is the person's type. Mm -hmm. And the other two don't look like those two. I guess we'll find out one in three weeks because then we have to do the women tell all. So are you picking the same two as well? Yeah. 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 He really like when, oh, so we didn't do last week's episode, but when um, he got that private note to meet me at the uh, watchtower or the clock tower, it was Susie. He was so excited. Yeah. And like he, like the, that expression, like, you know, it was genuine. You know, he was really excited that it was Susie. And he's like, Dad, yes, uh. Yeah. Okay. So. so one other thing. So coming up, they were showing this preview. Oh, right. Two previews, actually, the whole time. One is Clayton crying and saying, I'm so broken. And then is the two girls at the top. And we don't know, is that the final two? Okay. But there's two girls and he tells them, I've been intimate with both of you. Yeah. Maybe one of them actually leaves because he was intimate with both of them. Yeah. And maybe that's why he says he's so broken. I feel like Susie would leave if she finds that out. I don't know. I think Rachel would. I think Susie seems like the most genuine girl next door, like innocent girl who would be really upset by that. I think Rachel would be too though. Maybe both leave. I guess we'll have to watch yeah. and find out. Then he's left with... Gabby. I wonder who the Bachelorette's going to be now. If it comes from this season, who's your choice? Shanae? Oh my god. They've Ew. done that before. Oh man. She Remember the one girl they picked? Like oh, two? Hannah? Yeah. Yeah. Terrible choice. They've done that. Yeah. They've picked the villain before. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I can't remember. I have to go through all the girls again to see who would be good. I think if Susie doesn't win, they'd pick Susie. Yeah. Yeah, she would be good. Yeah. yeah but you know what they really, really should do, which I would just absolutely love, and this would be groundbreaking? Mm -hmm. Give it to Tasha again. Tasha, I believe, <laughs> is the best bachelorette in yeah. the history of the show. She might even be better than all the bachelors. Yeah, she Like, she might have been good. the best like lead really candidate they've ever had yeah. and just give it to her again because if, if you don't know like i don't understand how she picked what was his name he was a drug addict she a picked, former drug addict yeah okay um, but like he he had like all the fidgety stuff in all season and like really angry and terrible choice everybody knew it probably wasn't gonna work anyways she's back on the market and not and not you and <laughs> not me. What do you mean, me? You're not on the show. I know. <laughs> anyway. Well, I'll watch her on the show, hopefully. Yeah. Anyways, BSTV, like, subscribe, leave a comment.